Welcome back to the channel and hiking the way and right. Can you believe it? This is episode six already. Slowly but surely creeping down the eastern fells. So I'm getting there. If you cast your mind back a few weeks when I did the Clough Head and the Dods and Rays and Whiteside, that was the northern ridge of the Helvellyn Massif. Today I'm going to go and do the opposite, opposite end, the southern ridge, which includes Nethermost Pike, Dolly Wagon Pike, and a little bit of an outlier called Seat Sandal. Around about a seven mile walk. There's some pretty nasty bits in terms of walking up steep sections. It is going to be quite tough, but it'll be worth it. Once I get up to Dolly Wagon, it's a nice, steady, gentle climb up to Nethermost there. However, I have to say, there are going to be very little views today because as I was driving through the lakes, I was watching the cloud base get lower and lower. I think it's all going to be in clag. So even Seat Sandler, which is the lowest point today, really the lowest uh, summit, that the top of it was just in the clouds. So I don't know what we're going to see. <laughs> I don't know what views we're going to get, which is a real shame. But this is a commitment I made when I started this. I was going to come out every week, rain or shine, clag or no, and just get out here and do it. So it just doesn't matter, does it? It's just nice. And you, you guys will be able to see the terrain and the, the routes and I'll I'll try and explain and describe stuff the best I can you know normally you'd be able to see this so I've actually just parked up in Withman and it was literally 30 seconds ago I completely changed the route I was going to go and do this route in a clockwise direction and I thought you know what I'm gonna do the way around because I always do it that way let's go and do it anti-clockwise let's go and have a look and see exactly where we're going today from the car park at Withburn I've headed up onto Redbrow Forest Track walking south towards Dunmail Rays, where I'll cross Rays Beck at the ford. And it's at this point that I begin the ascent, following the course of Rays Beck and really enjoying those waterfalls. Then I'll leave the main path, heading to the first summit of the day, Seat Sandal, followed by a slightly demoralising descent before an agonising climb up towards Dolly Wagon Pike, second summit of the day. And then it's just a leisurely stroll along the south ridge, taking in High Crag and heading over to nethermost pike and from here you can head on up to Helvellyn if you so wish but i'm going to head down to burkside and coombe crags back down to the forest track and into the van so as you can see the potential for views is incredible if you look at my previous videos you'd be able to see them anyway but listen you never know you never know what might happen it all might lift off and blow out and we get epic conditions so the first challenge of today is to get across Ray's Beck at the ford now that could go either way it could be quite dry it could be a bit of a nightmare it's been a while since I've done this so it'll be interesting to see how we get on so uh, let's go let's go and have a look Okay, that was Burkside Gill. Cute little uh, stream running down to Bob Dunmail Rays there. Very nice indeed. Hey, Herdy. <laughs> yeah, not amused. Right, so you can actually see now Dunmail Rays. Let me just get you over here a little bit more. This is Dunmail Rays. Look how busy it is, flipping out. I must admit it was a bit of a nightmare driving in today. Just coming up through Bonus and Ambleside. Now on this permissive path, heading up towards the top of Dunmail Rays Pass, which is this here. So Dunmail Rays is, if you don't know, is the pass that connects Thirlmere over to Grasmere side. And it's quite an interesting place actually, because it, it can sometimes be a bit of a weather barrier. You might be on the south side, it might be raining and sleet and wind and all that kind of stuff. And you cross over Dunmail Rays and it's like a summer's day up here and vice versa, you know, it's weird. I call it Dunmail Divide. Well, maybe other people do, I don't know. <laughs> And you can see a little bit of um, Helm Crag over there in the distance as well. You can very, very clearly see the howitzer. I don't know if you can see it on here though. So yes, it's a gentle stroll over to the Ford 
at Raysbeck and that's when it really starts to get, after Raysbeck, it gets a little bit, well, uphill, basically. <laughs> it's time to go up. I'm looking forward to the waterfalls. They really are beautiful on Raysbeck. Anyway, let's go a bit further on and I'll try to keep the talking to a minimum. All right, we're just approaching the ford now. It's gonna take us over his back. It's just here. But before I show you that, I'll show you now what you can actually see first sight of seat sandal. That isn't the top, unfortunately. <laughs> it goes on beyond that. And Ray's Beck is basically to go between the two. This is Willy Wife Moor, grow up. And obviously seat sandal, we're gonna go between the two at the cleft. There we go. This is the forward. Uh, I think I'll just film it as I go through so you can see what it's like. But as you can see, it's not, not high at all. My only concern is these shoes. I've seen better days. Uh, all the uppers are split and water gets in very, very easily now. So I need to be careful. I don't want to get wet feet right at the beginning of the walk. I think what I'm going to do is from there to there, over to there. Well, that was much easier than I remembered, actually. <laughs> I remembered getting really wet feet last time, but I guess it's so low. There's not been a lot of rain at all lately. Yeah, it was literally one step across and that was it. That's it, done. Well, <laughs> you know, that first obstacle is done. Obviously, we've got all of the walk yet to do. You know, I love summer, but I'll be glad when all this lot dies back. It's hideous going through it because you know what's hanging on the tips of the branches. You know that you're gonna find something later on that you don't wanna be finding in places that you don't wanna be finding them in. So the path is actually on that side of the wall, but that's where the bracken is. So what I'm gonna do is stay on this side a little bit longer, for as long as I can really, a bit more bouldery, a bit more rocky, but I'm not wading through chest high tick Ooh, infested bracken. That was close. I know I rave on a lot about paths, but <laughs> some of them are just so special, aren't they? They really are. Nice picnic spot, wouldn't it? Beautiful. It's only about 20 minutes from Dunmail Rays, so there's the road down there. You can easily bomb it up. It looks like the sun's trying to get out. You never know. You never know. I mean, the cloud base is still really low over there. It is now leveled off significantly, kind of at the, the top of the main waterfalls, really. The path up to Seat Sandal is literally around this corner here. Right, I'm going rogue. Uh, I did not see the beginning of that path whatsoever, so I'm just gonna go straight up the fell side. It's not so bad, it's pretty straightforward. Doesn't seem touch wood that boggy at the moment. It's just fairly grassy. If I go straight up like this, in theory, I should pick up the path. Just going to basically ascend into oblivion now. It's all clagged in at the top and it's all clagged in. Well, you can see it is, look at it. So that's where I'll be going later on. That's Dolly Wagon, basically. Very low cloud base and very thick cloud by the looks of it. So zero views today. Stop morning. You're in the Lake District having the best time of your life. It's wonderful. Let's get up there. Let's get into the cloud. Okay, it really feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere now. Lost in the clouds. But I love it. 
I love these conditions, I really do. However, summit is just here. About 15, 20 minutes from the path to the top here. So not too bad at all. Here we go. You can see the summit uh, pile of stones there looming in the mist. Well, it sure is a shame that there are no views from here because it is a, a pretty good little bump because it sits on its own. You do get these great views out towards Grasmere and the west. And obviously, you know, you've got uh, Fairfield here, Grisdale Town down that way. You can see right over towards Ullswater and Galbarrow. And obviously where we're going today, up Dollywagon and Nethermost Pike. And I was going to go and show you Gavel Crag as well because obviously Wainwright uh, draws attention to that in that it looks like Pillar Rock and it really does from a certain angle from the path and even from the road actually to drive in you can look up towards Gavel Crag and it does look like a little mini Pillar Rock over on Pillar but we'll be able to see it at all unfortunately <laughs> I'll be able to show you a lot of white and nothing more there's no point in hanging around because if I hang around it's going to get cold I can feel it's quite cool in the the cloud here obviously with the the, uh, the moisture so i'm going to head down now follow this wall and it's going to take me back down towards grisdale tan and i'm not going to go all the way to grisdale tan i'm going to go up strip dolly wagon and i'll tell you what i'm that's the bit i'm dreading more than anything else <laughs> it's horrendous <laughs> it's so steep look at them aren't they cute they just love it they don't care they don't care about rain they don't care about like they don't care about lack of views they just like i've got my grass i'm happy <laughs> and i've said this probably many times today i love walking in the cloud i love it i love it up in the lakes here in the mountains i love it at home on the fell out the back of my house when i'm walking finn i don't know there's just something quite magical about it you're shrouded by it hidden by it maybe it's because i'm a little bit introverted, I don't know, maybe it's because of that. Right, just dropping out of the cloud base now, starting to see a little bit more of the train below. Not a lot, <laughs> as we said. A little bit, getting a little glimpse of Grisdale Tarn down there now, hopefully you can see that. So there is a legend of Grisdale Tarn to do with King Dunmail, which is what Dunmail Race is named after. I mentioned it and talked about it in a previous video, so I'll link to that in the description uh, where I tell that story. Probably not very well, but I, I can't actually remember it at all now. <laughs> but it's interesting, it's about King Dunmail, his crown, his crown's in the, the town there, and uh, his men raising him from the dead one day. Like I said, link in the description if you can be bothered. There we go, look at that. Really clearing out now, at last. So far on this walk I've seen two people. And that's it, I've not seen anybody else, not even from a distance. So luckily I've got a little bit of a navigation aid here actually. I can just make out the bottom end of the wall that's going to take me up to the top of Dolly Wagon. If I head towards that now, um, I should be okay. And then, well I can clag in as much as he wants then, I can just handrail up that wall. Bogville, around here, a little bit soggy. Oh. I didn't realise but my cap was completely soaking wet so now I've got nothing for my head and I feel very exposed and it feels like it's getting cold so I'm a little bit worried about that. I've not brought a hat today, uh, a woolly hat. You kind of wouldn't think you'd have to would you in August but there you go. So the cloud base has dropped right down now, almost down to Grisdale Town itself. So I need to be very, very careful navigating. It could be quite tricky. A bit like this area here, it's so boggy around here, look at this. 
but I can just make out the bottom of that wall that I mentioned before. So I'm keeping an eye on that. And even though you're not supposed to use walls and stuff like that because they're man-made structures and could disappear. I know. I can see a rock there. It's always a bit risky, isn't it? You know, you kind of commit. I'm gonna commit. Oh, it's not a rock. <laughs> it was a big pile of poo. Now then, if you're gonna do this route, you need to be aware of this. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This next section is awful. It's so steep. Not technically difficult, you know, you're not scrambling or anything like that. It's just very, very steep ground. Yeah, so just be mindful of that if you do come and do this route. I love that wall, I love it. So you can hopefully see the path that's going off up the, the hill there. And thankfully, because it is clagged in, I can't see the really, really steep bit a bit further up. Right, let's get up here. Once this is done, then I've broken the back of all the climbing today, really, because actually once I get to uh, Dolly Wagon, then it's sort of like a, a gentle roller coaster up to Nethermost Pike. So let's go and get this done. Hey, Hurdy. This is a real quad and calf burner. There's the angle look. That's how steep we're going. I'll tell you something. If you ever wanted to build your fitness up, doing hill reps on this would do it. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad about the fog, to be honest with you. It just means I can't really see where we're going. <sighs> Sometimes ignorance really is bliss. Just zigzagging a little bit as well, actually. Just taking some of that steepness out. It's finally starting to level off a little bit now. It's about 10 minutes of sheer agony. If you are unsure about doing this particular route, what you could do is you could take the alternative route and go around the top of Grisdale, so the north side of Grisdale Tarn, and pick up the main tourist path up to um, Dolly Wagon. You might be able to see it looming through the fog now, the post. This is marked on the map as post. It's quite a handy little way marker. I sure am glad to see it. I don't know if you can hear that little tune it's playing there. Wind blowing through the little holes where the, the uh, steel cables used to be. But now at the point where the path crosses, intersects my path. So if I was to go that way, I'd end up going to Nethermost Pike direct. That's the way to Helvellyn. And if I go that way, I'd end up going back down to Grisdale Town. That's the tourist way up. That's the way you could come up if you didn't want to come up this steep bit. It's going to be interesting navigating up there. I need to be very careful because obviously this western slope is very grassy and gentle. However, the eastern side of this ridge is basically a plunge into the chasm of doom. I actually think what I'm going to do is head off as far east as I can go to the point where it's pretty obvious that there's a large drop like this here. Look. <laughs> as you can see, this is the edge of Dolly Wagon going down to Falcon Crag and Tarn Crag that way. The views from here ordinarily are absolutely incredible, they really are. All right, here we are on the summit of Dolly Wagon Pike. Look at those views. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it feels like an alien landscape. It feels like, actually, I'm on the set of Aliens. I'm somewhere on LV-426. Hmm. Just imagine a face hugger coming out of the mist or something. But this little bit here, this little spur that drops off from the main ridge is called the Tongue, and it drops down into a place called Cock Cove. Okie dokie, it's pretty cold now. The wind's got right up. And obviously, because I'm in the cloud, 
there's a lot of moisture and I'm getting absolutely soaked. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to head off. This is the actual summit here. Look, I'm going to head off into some direction. God knows where I'm going, <laughs> but heading off towards Nethermost Pike. But I'm going to hit High Crag first. Oh, that wind's really got up. Very, very windy. I know a lot of you have been really enjoying the labelling of the fells and what have you in the distance. Today should be really easy. <laughs> Just like, you know, the Lake District. <laughs> oh, shit, it blew over then. Right, let's switch on. Some big drops here. Yeah, that's a big drop. That was like hell. Just want to say that I would not be walking this close to the edge in the winter if it was uh, if there was snow on the ground, deep snow. Because I mean, I'm only walking here because I can see the solid ground. But in the winter, you don't know. And this place, the whole of this ridge is notorious for uh, cornicing. So the wind blows from you know the west to east like it is today, blows the snow across, and then cornice forms. And that is very precarious. If you stand on that, you'll just go straight through and obviously fall to your death. So, so I'm actually on the main path again now. Dropped off at Dolly Wagon Pike. Picked up that main path that the post was on. Really enjoying this huge drop, actually. And this sort of stuff. I love it when you get the um, big moody loomage. Look at that. Oh. This to me is the Lake District, you know. It really is. It's very Heaton Cooper esque. Okay, this is High Crag. Not that you'd be able to tell. I could have just stayed on Dolly Wagon and told you it was High Crag. I might try that one next time. <laughs> You'll never know. Anyway, so this is High Crag. And yeah, view's looking good. But it's not far now, over to Nethermost. And I think we pretty much contour all the way around to the huge flat summit that is Nethermost. So let's go and have a look at that. That's the highest point of the day. Let's go. I think just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna stay by the edge that way. I'm not gonna disappear into nothingness, you know, going over there get completely lost. I think for a lot of people this would be hell. I don't think they'd enjoy this. However, I think if you're warm and you're dry, it's, uh, it's quite a special place. Whatever you do, don't turn right. Oh, it's turning right. Don't turn right. Hey, Hurdy. Oh, it's got the little white mask. Love it. Well, it really is a shame that you can't see into Nethermost Cove because it's a very, very special place. So much so that it is actually a natural England triple SI site because of the flora that grows down there. There's a, an Arctic alpine plant that grows down there. I think it's called uh, Downy Willow. And there's only a handful of places in the whole of England that, that it grows. And this place has a third of it. So it's very rare and it's all growing down here. Well, a third of it's growing down here down there somewhere in the pit of doom <laughs> and it's obviously special geologically this is all part of the bvg which is the borrowdale uh, volcanic group but yeah can't see it could be anything <laughs> could be blackpool all right i'm actually at a point now if i keep following the edge i'll hit a place called east ridge and it's the ridge that comes up from nethermost cove and it's a route up to nethermost pike actually so that's not going to take me to the summit i'm afraid the summit is over there somewhere so i'm going to go and try and find it let's go onto this vast flat plateau and see if i can locate the summit of nethermost pike without getting lost i remember coming up here a few winters ago and it was snow on the ground, white out like this, complete white out. And when it's a complete white out, it's very, very disorientating. And you know 
that there is a huge drop somewhere. You don't know where. It could be walking on cornice and all that kind of stuff. So it does scare you quite a lot. There's literally nothing. I can't see anything. There are no features anywhere. I'm completely and utterly disorientated. I can't tell which is north, which is east. I can't, there's just no gradient in the ground. I can't tell if it's dropping down or going up. It really does play with your mind. <laughs> Oops, am I lost? Although there's something here, look, let's have a look. Okay, it's a shelter of sorts. Not much of one. Interesting looking rocks. Like razor blades. It definitely looks like there's a little bit of a slope there. Definitely looks higher that way. Right, I'm heading back up. Because it did look like it was sloping back off there, so I'm heading up uh, this way. Where it looks a little bit higher ground. It's so easy to get lost here. It really is. But so wonderful at the same time. <laughs> Aha, now then, let's have a look. I think this is it. I think this is it. This looks familiar to me. Done it. <laughs> Made it to the summit. Now I just need to make it off somehow. Here we go. We're well, sort of heading towards Helvellyn now, really, and pick up that main path. I'm probably going to get lost again, aren't I? All right, so I've actually made it onto the main path now that will take me over to Helvellyn, if I so wished. Now, if you're doing this route, it would kind of make sense to go up to Helvellyn, but no point in going up this. Uh, the, the idea today was to actually go over to uh, just above Lad Crag, it's a nice little place you can sit there and you can watch the people going over Striding Edge. In my mind's eye, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to sit there for a few hours. I've got Factor 50 on today, you know. I thought it's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> I mean, they've even brought the drone as well today. I think rather than going to do that, sitting on Lad Crag and freezing half to death, I think what I'm going to do is start to make my way back down to Withburn and drop, but hopefully drop below the cloud base. Maybe get some views at some point should be nice out towards uh, the west there. So pretty much follow this path now all the way down to Coombe Crag. So the, the path zigzags across the top of Coombe Crag. So that's actually a really nice spot to get some views looking west across the park. Normally, let's see if it is today. All right, I'm starting to get really excited now because I've got a little glimpse of film here then. Can you see it? <laughs> no, it's gone. I really wanted to bring you amazing scenery and all I've brought you is just misery and gloom. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Seriously, am I that terrifying? What is it with sheep? I know what it is. It's the heat. I don't like the heat. It's too shiny. Too white. There's not a lot I can do about that. Hallelujah. I can actually see something. Ah, oh, that is Thirlmere. And that is looking very dry at the moment. You can really see the waters right down. This is Coombe Crag here that we're heading, uh, the path kind of heads over the top of, and you can see the path zigzagging down below it. Uh, so we will be going round and then down into yonder woodland over there. Could get some good views, you know, from the top of there. Might get lucky, might get lucky. Yeah, so let's keep on going down and see if the views open a little bit more to the point where I might even get my flipping camera out. <laughs>
just look at it. Oh, I will never, ever tire of that. Beautiful. What a beautiful place. Oh, it just blows my mind. It really does. I get a little bit emotional when I look at it. So I was in my head planning at this point once it all cleared out to get my camera out but I don't know there's no light hitting the ground um, obviously there's light hitting the ground you know otherwise you wouldn't see anything but you know what I mean there's no sunlight actually hitting patches of it or anything like that it's just a bit flat and I think a photograph of that though it looks beautiful now with the eyes I think the photograph would be lost really unless you pick out little bits I mean there are some nice trees over there the pine trees that you could maybe pick out zoom in a little bit but uh, it's a lot of faff to get my bag out bag off and get my camera out. <laughs> can't be bothered but how nice is this path and you can see it zigzags down you can see the guy there on the mountain bike it's at this time of day when you're a little bit tired and maybe a little bit giddy and delirious that you end up falling so i need to be really careful and not run down this flipping path the stones are sloping downwards on a wet day well, you just end up sliding all the way down the bottom with broken legs and arms so many paths like that in the lake district i'm not mourning well i am mourning i always mourn i just gonna have a mourn on these walks Blue sky. I can actually see blue sky. I'm slightly worried now <laughs> that it's all clearing out and there's going to be an absolutely unbelievable sunset on the top of Nethermost Pike. I want to get in a van and I'm going to drive off and not look back because that's what it'll be like. It'll be just epic. How lovely is this path though? Wow. It's funny because I always come up this way and I'm always a little bit out of breath and sweating already. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not very high, but I never look back this way. It's lovely. It really is lovely. That steel fell over there. I kind of feel like I've got things hanging from me. <laughs> There's a real soft, magical light around at the moment over there. Again, probably a bit tricky to get in a photograph. So it's just nice to look at it with the old eyes. Okay, let's go to the van. a bit of a sweat on coming down there then but I'm now back on the path that I was on before when I first started that forest track which means the car park is down there Withburn Car Park and Withburn Church so yeah a couple of minutes down there and I think it's time for the pub let's go okay back at the van Last man standing. I can't believe the car park is completely empty. I thought there'd be at least somebody here. So I'm sorry about the rubbish weather today in terms of getting views. I know you didn't see certainly what I wanted you to see, but hopefully it gives you an idea. And that is just the lay district anyway. That's what it's like. You don't know what you're going to get, do you? And, and like I said up there, I love those conditions. They're quite special and, and hopefully you do as well. Hopefully it resonates in your heart and your soul in the same way as it does with me. So I hope you can see me out on the next one, episode seven. It's a long one. So I hope to see you there. In the meantime, let's go to, let's go to the Badger Bar. Yeah.
Thank you. Crawl up my leg, but there's a piece of grass. Oh, I'm a nervous wreck. To be honest with you, not far now to Nethermorse. Netherpore, put my teeth back. <laughs> Can you see Phil me down there now? <laughs> I don't know if my eyes are deceiving, maybe. Oh, is it bedtime yet?